Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So this is my 10 gallon quarantine tank. It has been quite a while since I've shown this tank. I looked up my older videos and it was, the last video I showed this tank was seven months ago. And in that video, had quite a bit of fish in here um, from recent acquisitions. I bought mostly platies, lots of platies from different Petco's, several sources, mostly Petco's, but, and in that video I it was mentioned that I was going to move them soon after corn, adding quarantine medications, but that never happened. I haven't shown any updates since then. Um, I This time around I, I failed with the quarantine process multiple reasons, but the, one of the main things is I, I think I left them in too long without treating them, as opposed to getting fish and like treating them right away. Because as I have been doing in my quarantine processes, I may get fish from multiple sources, and though they may contaminate each other if they had any diseases, I would treat them right away so that it would be in, essentially in the early stages so that it wouldn't would get caught bef or treated before it harmed the fish or harmed any other fish that weren't already affected. But um, just got caught up with other things and never did have the quarantine medications. I did even after that video, just looking back, looking back on the timeline, it was probably not even even a month after that that I finally added quarantine medication. So I did just one one dose. That's usually what I do with um, ICX, um general cure and. Erythromycin, so basically treating for ick and other similar similar fish elements and general cure as a dewormer and a bacterial any bacterial diseases, but I do believe that it was, it was probably the red tiger platies from Petco that may have had internal parasites and they may have spread. So these fish that we're looking at here, these are platies that were born in this tank to some of those new fish. And as long ago as that was, I mean these fish are not full grown. I'm just to get a idea of the size, this is, you know, they kind of look like juveniles. So whether it's that just they have parasites, so they're not getting their proper nourishment from eating, or I mean, in this tank, you know, and it's been a while, so this tank has gotten overrun with Java moss. That could play a factor in it that it's just stunting, stunting their growth. Yeah, so there's these two here. I think there's four platies all together. I did just see another one. And I ha still have the, the blue spotted corridors. So the three that I bought back then at a Petco. They're, they are in here. I did just see them, but you know, with all the job loss it's hard to see. But yeah, so just gradually over was losing the fish and with other things going on, I never kept up with it, so pretty much lost all but the corridors, and there's a Siamese algae eater in here as well, just the plays that were born in here, and yeah, that was a shame, because there was quite a lot of cool looking platies from various places, and oh yeah, and there's some sword tails too, some Awesome sword tails. Yeah, 
I lost the. I had some bacopa in here. That died off, but I still have a crinum calamistratum. So it's still doing okay. It hasn't grown any, but it's just hanging on. I still need to move that to another tank and just a few loose bits of java fern here. Yeah, so. Well, lesson learned going forward. I'm not going to get that many. If I'm going to get new fish, I'm not going to do it from as many sources as I did, and then I'm just, I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to, you know, pretty much within not the very first day when I take them home, but maybe even like the second day, but not a month or longer like that was. And even the had a red eye tetra in here that was serving as a permanent resident in the quarantine tank whenever I got new fish and removed them just to keep a fish in here and that died and it was like a belly its belly got it was like sunken in. That pretty much happened with most of the platies, so I think it was due to parasites. Yeah, that was a shame, but as it is now, when I think I'm going to, with the, the corridor still look okay, so I'm going to do a full quarantine medication treatment on this tank just for the corridors so that I can move them to another tank. I still have plans to move them to my 20 gallon tank that has a couple of Emma hybrids. Wild guppy and lime green endler hybrids, and the tank that has the, the pond snails. Okay, back there is another one of the flatties born in here. And I think I'll put that in one of my 40 gallon tanks. Cram Calmus Redum. And I'll try to unload some of this Java moss so I can get this quarantine tank in be able to put to use so that yeah fish can have swimming room and you know we'll see maybe if I do another a full treatment with quarantine medications if the platies grow maybe you know, it could be that I just haven't been feeding them enough too, but they'll either just stay in here or but I don't want to move them to any of my other tanks. Yeah, alright, well since I haven't given an update on this tank in a quite a long time, that's what's going on. I mean it was so long ago I was probably forgotten that I had all those cool looking platies, but that's what's going on. I never did move them to the other tanks because they died, unfortunately. And it was my own fault for neglecting them and not, not properly, and maybe just cross contaminating them in the quarantine tank and not providing like quarantine medications, but yeah. Alright, well that's it for now, and remember, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies. Thanks for watching.